all right guys welcome back in this very short lesson i want to show you something if you check out the storage app public post folder you can see that we have images in that folder but in our application we've deleted our post so what we want to do is make sure we clean up after ourselves when we delete a post which means whenever a post is permanently deleted we also delete the images for those posts okay so let me just delete this post folder so we start afresh okay then i'm gonna come right here and create a new post upload an image for this post and the post has been created you can see the image right here so if we check out the post folder you can see we have the image right there but what we want is after trashing this post this image should still be there but if we permanently delete this post then the image should go away so we're going to come to our post controller and then here if the post has been trashed we are going to use storage to delete the post from storage the post image so i'm just going to say storage and there's a delete function i would simply pass in post image because remember the post image is the path to the file so we're just going to delete the image from that location so notice that i used storage right here so my code editor automatically uses it at the top for me so you want to make sure you use it correctly so illuminate support facets storage and if you want to know the path to all of this make sure you check out the storage part of the Lavo documentation and it's going to give you the path to all of these classes awesome so storage delete post image so now let's check out our storage folder open it up right there and we are just going to come to our browser click on delete post deleted successfully and if you check our storage folder it's empty if you check the public storage post uh, it's also supposed to be empty probably my code editor has cached it because remember it's a linked folder whatever happens to this one also automatically happens to this one so yeah if i stop my editor and start it again then this is most or it's gonna be empty okay so what's our focus is right here so you can see the post is empty it's been deleted okay so that was just a short video to show you how to permanently delete the image as well as the post thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on in the next lesson